the Ninja Foodie XL Pro air frying oven. And if you watch my channel, you know how I feel about it. I, I do love the thing. I love it a bunch. And uh, what we're going to do, I've had a lot of questions about how it compares to my Breville air frying uh, countertop oven. And I'm going to do the exact recipe I did in this oven two years ago. Right there's the video that you can look at. And then I'm also, at the end of it, first, we're going to do the chicken wings first and show you how they look and how it does with them. Then if you want to see uh, all the stuff I've found that this oven works with, and, and one of the reasons I'm so excited about it is all the things you can do with it. So I've got a lot of things here to show you. And we're going to compare this video, and I'm going to show you why uh, or which one of these I like the best and why. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. <laughs> Let's get this started. Okay, just to just try and explain everything, I'm going to, just like I did in this particular recipe, I'm going to spray this basket. Now, quite honestly, if we were not trying to stick too close to that, I would probably do them on this. But I'm trying to stick to exact this right here. And you're going to, I mean, I just want you everything to be the same so you can see the things I noticed when you're cooking here. Because I've already done this recipe once or twice, to be honest with you. Here's what I did. I cut the tips off just like in the other, and I've got a, if you don't know how, and I'm sure you do, but if you don't, uh, if you look at my hot wings and french fries video in this particular oven, uh, I'll, I'll link it. It shows you how to cut these into drums and flats where you cut it right here and you cut the wing tips off. It's, it's simple, but in case you don't, I'll link it and you can see how to do it in that video. Let's see, uh, you may have noticed I had out Clabber Girl baking powder a while ago. Well, it was out of date. I didn't notice it till I started to do this. So I got this out, which is brand new and well in date. I'm going to use one tablespoon of the baking powder. By the way, it is baking powder now, not baking soda. And one teaspoon of sea salt, fine sea salt. And that's to stay as close to that as I can. I don't think if there's anything else I need to say. I don't think so. I'm going to get that sprayed, get this mixed up, preheat this to 450 degrees. I'll be back. Okay, I've let it preheat for quite a while. Uh, they say a 90 second preheat on this one. Well, it's not real preheat, if you ask me. It doesn't get to say 450 degrees, where this one gets a lot closer than that. So to keep it apples and apples, I let it preheat for about eight minutes, long story short. This has been sprayed with avocado oil, and I've got 10 wings just like we did on the Breville. So, let's see, I'm fixing to put it in right here. I'm gonna get this started. I've got it on rack, th rack level three, like it asked for. So, we're off and running. I'm going to set this to uh, 30 minutes, just like the other cook. And we are there, and now we are off and running. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I just listened back on my video as I set this in, and I said I sprayed it with avocado oil, or I said I sprayed it with avocado oil. What I meant by that was the roasting rack and the pan. I didn't spray the wings, and like I said in the beginning, that I just wanted to make sure you understood. The wings only have baking powder and some salt. The roasting rack and the pan have avocado oil, but that's just really to help with clean up. But anyhow, I just wanted to make sure you understood that, and I feel a lot better now. Anyhow. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on the end right here at the last five seconds, and we're fixing to see how they look. And uh, if anything like normal, they'll be excellent. And there they are. Wow. Very hot, by the way. I'm going to have to set them down, even through that glove. They're hot. Now, this is what, if you ask me, this is the original hot wings. When I was a kid, this is all we did. And this kind of chicken right here works excellent for it. It's, uh, you'll see in a minute. I'm going to let it cool just a minute. But it is more like fried chicken, and uh, there wasn't any... There wasn't anything like this. There was no such thing as uh, as hot as buffalo wings. They, we ate chicken with a hot sauce like this right here, and uh, it's really hard to beat. I mean, you put some mashed potatoes or maybe even some rice and some English peas with that, and uh, 
super hard to beat. But we're going to let those cool just a minute, and uh, we're going to tear into one. I'll be back. Now, this is right out of the oven. You see, you see it's still sizzling. <laughs> you can see it's still uh, bubbling on the backside right there. And look. And that is the way they do when you do this. It's, it's just an excellent way. The skin is what happens. The skin is, is, is the oil you need. It makes its own oil. So I'm going to let those cool, like I said. I will have to make pictures in a minute, but I'm going to get them set up. And then, we're like I said, we're going to break one open. And the way I normally eat these is with that. So I'll be back. Okay, I wanted you to see what they look like when I took them off of the tray and see how, you know, if they're stuck or whatever. And, they, and you know, it's just a little bit, but no different than the other one. And they do stick a little bit, but it's not hurting anything. It really isn't. Uh, for the for how good they are, uh, you, you won't care. I don't even know why I care. It doesn't matter. They're, they're going to stick a little bit, even with the uh, avocado oil. Maybe, maybe something will work better, but nothing wrong with it. Uh, you know how I feel about <laughs> avocado oil. So I'm getting them moved over here, and I may even move them to something else. I just got to get, uh, you know, my pictures made, and then and then we're going to eat them. But I'm going to put one right here. Do that right there. Now, like, in fact, let's see what, let's see if I can see how much, you know, somebody asked me one time the oil level in the bottom of that tray. So that was on that turkey, but... Just so you know what they look like with 10 chicken wings. Is that right there? And that's not that bad. And I'll say this. Uh, I clean it the same way I do if y'all saw the one where I was out in the yard. Which a lot of people thought that was extreme. But it's really not. You don't really have to go as far as I went. You just set them on the, set them on the back porch or whatever. Or maybe even in your sink. And just fill it with water and some good soap and let it soak. And these have been very easy to clean. I mean, no different than anything else. And uh, fill it, you know, to where it covers that those slots. And then put some Dawn or whatever type dishwashing detergent you use and let it sit. But now I do take paper towels or pour that. I do. I either pour that grease out or I set a bunch of paper towels in there and soak it up and then put it in the garbage can. I, I never put that in my sink. And even when I let it soak, that doesn't go in my sink. But I do what you, you do what you wish with your sink, but not me. I'm going to get these pictures made. I'll be back, and we're going to talk about the uh, accessories. And I thought about something. I thought I better show you right quick, just so you'll know. I mean, you you would obviously think they are well within temp after 30 minutes at 450 degrees, and they are. They've been out of there maybe five minutes, and we'll check one or two. Uh, 180. And again, they've been out like five minutes. Let's let's check this crispiness. I'm telling you, for for just wings, no breading, no flour or anything else, that is a really good uh, way to eat chicken. And you don't just have to do wings. I mean, you can do thighs and stuff. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, get this uh, ready for pictures, and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> keep saying that but i mean it this time i really am okay here it is and like i said whatever you want to put on them you can you can make these hot wings you can make them lemon pepper you can make them lime pepper that you can't even get anymore I used to buy it at sam's used to love it and they quit carrying it and now you have to make your own but you can do this right here you can eat them just like this and put uh this is my for this kind of uh food Crystal, there's a couple more, but Crystal, there is nothing wrong with, and I'm I'm going to, before I fill my mouth up with food, I'm going to try and break this apart, where you can see that it is not, you know, dried out. It is very good chicken. The skin, excellent, man. It's excellent. I mean, the salt level is perfect. Even and I love salt, and I always think that a a, a teaspoon of salt is not going to be enough. But to be honest with you, it is. And uh, again, this right here makes it even more special. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know if you can tell anything from that, that wing I destroyed, but <laughs> you can take my word when I tell you it's good. <laughs> so we're going to call this part done. I'm fixing to get this out of the way. I may finish eating those. And I'm going to show you what I bought that's going to work in this oven and some of the ideas I have. And uh, we may even point out, I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring, I wonder if you can see what I'm pointing at. I'm going to bring this down, show you the dimensions and what it looks like side by side. And then we're going to point out something. If you notice right here, if I can make the light, oh, well, anyhow, we're going to show it in just a minute. But you see how the glass looks? That is one of the things I want to point out. But the way the fan works, it's a big deal. I'll be back. All right, here they are side by side. And uh, you can see the difference in the size or how they would, you know, compare to each other. This one's a little wider and this one's a little taller. <laughs> but the big deal and why I did this video the way I'm doing it is so you can see something, which is that glass. If you notice, that glass is, is clean. It doesn't have a spot on it. Now, I didn't touch it. I haven't wiped it off or anything. Same thing on the inside. I haven't done anything but took when I, all I did was remove the chicken wings. That was it. I mean, the, the, this right here don't even have anything on it. So my point is, that fan, that fan design is absolutely genius. And, uh, and it even shows you on the box how it works. And they are absolutely correct, as far as I can tell. It's totally different than any I've ever saw on any other oven. Uh, I haven't seen them all. But most of the ones I see look like this, where the, the fan's on the side and you've got this block right here where the fan's at and it blows across. Well, uh, this one does it different. It pulls in the center, pulls it around the side, blows it around the side. If you look at that box, it'll show you that. And that's why you don't have to turn uh, your food or flip your food. And it's why that turkey turned out so good. And evidently, it's why that glass is so clean in the inside of the oven. It's a great way to do it. Now, I have a video here. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see what I want you to see, but I'm going to run it, and when it comes to it, I'll try and bring it to you. But I bring up and show you right here. You can watch the whole video, but if you see that glass, the glass has got a lot. Of, right here, right here's where I show it. You can see there. That is what it looked like on that oven once, uh, uh, in other words, once I cooked the same recipe, same 10 wings, of the same temperature and the same time. And it's not just that glass. I mean, obviously, it's getting elsewhere in the oven. So I'll get off of that. What we're going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to measure, just show you some things right here with a tape measure. In fact, right here's a tape measure. I'll show you right quick. The inside of this one from top to bottom is 10 inches. And then in this direction, it is roughly 14. Now, you know, that's still rough. It's not dead on, and I'm not trying to be that. I'm just trying to give you general ideas. Eight inches on this one, and I mean, you'd have to compensate for the element and stuff, but I'm just giving you general again. And then this right here, which is 16 and a quarter, and that's something I want to correct that I did tell a couple of people wrong. They asked me, would this, would this uh, hold a, 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 nine, a 9 by 13 casserole? It will, as long as it don't have handles. Now, this one will handle most of them. I mean, not all, I'm sure, but most of the a 9 by 13 casserole dish will go in there. But this one, if it's got handles, it won't go. Now, Ninja makes one that you can order, but they've been out. Of, I've been trying to order it, and I, I could not get it. I did get their... Uh, I did get an extra fry basket, finally, but long story short, uh, the casserole dish is what I'd like to have, but you can get them. I could have ordered one already on Amazon. I just haven't because I'd like to have the Ninja. So I'm going to get off of that. I'm going to bring the stuff around and show you what I've bought so far that works in it and why, you know, it's so versatile. So I'll be back. Okay, so it is the next day. I decided to stop the video because someone had commented on one of my videos on this device about a new oven kitchen, a new countertop oven KitchenAid has. So I did a little research because I love KitchenAid products. They have some really good products. So I went and looked at one. And uh, I'm going to let you see the video. I'm going to put it in right here. Luckily, Target 
had it set up right beside one of these and I was able to video everything I needed to see. And I didn't, I didn't purchase it and it's to do with the height of it. But I'm going to show it to you. You're fixing to see it and compare it to it. Now, I do wish I had looked at the fan system in the KitchenAid a little bit better because it, it advertises no flip, just like this one does. But anyhow, I just wanted you to see it so you'll know. Here comes the, uh, what I believe is the brand new KitchenAid air fry oven. Here's you something to, you can make your own decision. So, I'm at Target, and luckily they have the KitchenAid air fry oven right beside a display they have of the Ninja. And you can see the difference in size, it's right there, but this right here is the main difference, the height internal. And you can see it's nowhere near as tall, but hey, I hadn't ruled out getting this one just to uh, kind of review it, but I'm not sure. They make two, as a matter of fact. They make one that looks identical to that one, except that one is not an air fry oven, and it is 159. This one is the air fry oven, and it's 199. But again, I, they look identical on the pictures of the box. So, anyhow, there you go, and now you know. Okay, I hope you was able to get something from that. I mean, it's a good-looking unit. The, the Kitchen Aid is. It's just not as tall as this one, and that would eliminate, I don't know it would eliminate a turkey, but it would make it a little more difficult. And uh, there's nothing wrong with this one, the way this one works. So I decided not to buy it to do the review on. I mean, if everybody feels real strong about it, hit me up and I will consider it. But back to this one and all the things that will go in it, which is a bunch. <laughs> and uh, I mean, here's stuff I got hanging off the corner, off the counter, but eight by eight, obviously, uh, this eighth inch or this one eighth sheet pan, we use it all the time in the Breville, have for years, love it. It works, it works real well in there, you, you, you know, it, obvious reasons. Stuff like this right here. I mean, you can take cupcakes places, you can take an eight by, you can make a brownie, you can, uh, there's a, a 9 by 13 that fits. I've checked all of this, by the way. Uh, pies, 8 by 8 again. You can do cakes. I mean, in the Ninja, with the Ninja, I think that's an 8 inch round. And then this right here. And even this kind of stuff. Another thing for like brownies or whatever. Uh, this right here. And this will be used here, I'm sure. And I may have to move some of this to... This right here, so there's that. I got it clean today. You can see it cleans up real well. You saw what it looked like yesterday with the with all the chicken on it. And that's the fourth time I've cooked chicken wings on it and other stuff. But here's, now you can sear like nobody's business on cast iron. I swear by cast iron, I do. I think it's the greatest thing there is to sear. If you want steak marks, there's that. This, this particular one's made by Calphalon, but Everybody makes one of these. Same thing right here. I think this is a 10 inch. I measured it. It measures 10 inches across. So I'm assuming, say, you know, I don't know, but it fits. That's a 10 inch uh, cast iron skillet. I've even got a video where I do cornbread in the Ninja digital oven. Uh, it, it works just like a normal one. Now here's something you'll see a video on real soon. And this is parchment bags that I'm going to do on one of these uh, sheet pans. And I think I'm going to do salmon in it next. So, I mean, uh, for the first time ever, I'm, I'm anxious to try it, but it's a bag that you put fish in. I've seen it done before. I don't remember if I, if anybody here has ever done it. So I'm going to, I finally got one of these. It was a little tricky to get a lot of ninja stuff is. And, uh, like I said, you can order, uh, say like the, uh, they have a cat, a nine by 13 casserole, but it's all, I haven't been able to order it yet, but I've found them on it. Amazon that would fit. You just have to, it doesn't have Ninja. Well, I don't know the one Ninja has, has Ninja written on it. <laughs> don't know where that would bother you at all. And then here's some uh, grill mats. It's copper. I'm, I'm anxious to see how that does with cookies and stuff. And it's similar to this right here. This came from Walmart and I'm sure it's a little cheaper, but these right here, I had bought a while back to, to use on the grill. Never had, but you cut them with a scissor to cut them with scissors to fit whatever you want. Parchment paper. You know, I don't know why I'm showing all this. Y'all got enough sense to know this. There's what I'll probably do my cupcakes in sometimes. I mean, I got a lot of ways to do cupcakes right there and everything. But, you know, stuff like this, it fits. I mean, you can put that in there. 
and do uh, whatever a nine by 13 cake you wanted to do, same thing right here. These are made by Food Network and I got them at Kohl's. And this came from uh, Sam's and it's really, I don't remember the price, but it's cheap, it fits. Don't know why I'm really even telling some of it. It's just, I'm really telling it because that's why I'm a little excited <laughs> because there's a lot you can do. You can put a Dutch oven in here. I've done a pot roast in the Breville, and the Breville's not even as tall as this, and I know my enamel-coated uh, uh, cast iron Dutch oven will fit in here, and I know I'll do a pot roast in it, and you can wait on that one. <laughs> that was coming too. It's one of my favorite things to cook, so I know that's coming out of here. Again, I am pretty excited about it. I mean, there's a lot to do. It opens a lot of opportunities for stuff to do and something that's sitting on your counter that does it a lot faster and I would think cheaper than your oven does. And uh, it's an air fryer. I love it. So I'm gonna, here's one thing I wanted to point out. There's two things I want to point out. One is somebody had asked me a couple of times. I'm gonna show you how they word it right here. And it is, uh, uh, where does it say it? Right here somewhere. Uh, adequate space. It says, when using the oven, provide adequate space at least one inch above and on all sides. Well, the reason I wanted to mention that is because it gets pretty hot. If you want to put your hand on it, you know, I'm just saying don't. <laughs> but all, you know, all these type of ovens do that I know of, all the ones I've ever used, it gets hot, but all they require is one inch all the way around. Now, that being said, I like to give bad numbers, and I've seen other people give what I consider bad numbers on it, <clears throat> and I almost did it too, or I, I did do it, I think, because I measured it like this one day. And uh, you can see it's about 17 and a half to the front of that handle. Well, if you include that right there, it makes it, I, I don't know for sure, somewhere around 20, maybe 21 inches. Whatever that measurement says on the uh, specs on it will be, I'm sure they have done it properly, but somewhere around 20 inches. So keep in mind, you got this hump on the back that you've also got to leave the one inch gap on that. Or if I read, if you can read it just like I did, it wants one inch on all sides. So I think I'm done with this and uh, hopefully you got something from it. I, I hope you did. Got to find my thumb. Because <laughs> if you did, <laughs> I sure would appreciate one of these. I always do, though. I mean, it's not, this ain't nothing special. I always, I, those work. They help. They get this video put out to other people and stuff. And it helps. I'm not going to lie. I love y'all all. all. Uh, I love this oven. I do. And if one comes out that's better, I'll have it. And if you want me to get that KitchenAid and enough people do, and there's enough reviews on it where I think I should, I will. I promise. Again, love y'all all. Come back to see me. Bye-bye.